Hello, it's Julie from Artfully You. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be painting some flamingos together. Um, this was influenced from last summer's trip to African Lion Safari where we saw some flamingos. <laughs> I've started with uh, some white paint at the top of my canvas and now I'm adding uh, random strokes of yellow and blue so I'm creating a green as I go down but I want it to be different shades of green to create a kind of misty um, feel as if the flamingo is uh, early morning on a lake um, so I'm just kind of alternating blues and yellows mixing directly onto the canvas and I'm going to continue this until about a third from the bottom once I get to the about a third of the way down, I'm going to tilt my canvas on its side because it's a lot easier to draw a straight line when the canvas is on its side. I'm starting with about an inch wide stripe of black right at the bottom and then um, I'm going to mix my uh, blue and green um, now without any white with a tiny bit of black added just to create that kind of lake colours. I want it to be still quite painterly and random. Um, so I'm trying to go in one direction again, top to bottom with the canvas on its side. Once I've done that, I'm going to flip the canvas back around and then I'm going to let it dry. Um, because I was actually teaching this uh, in a Zoom lesson, I did use a hairdryer just to speed things up. I did go over my background again and added a second layer of a little bit more of a lime green, uh, just give it a bit more of a light source going on there. Um, and I touched up the water with again another layer of um, blue and green and a little bit of black just to deepen that. I always find the second layer is what makes it really pop. Quick blast with the hairdryer and now I'm painting an egg shape with white and a teeny tiny amount of red to get kind of nice flamingo pink. I'm then doing an S shape for the neck and then I'm making a sort of eye shape. Um, my camera kind of wobbled a little bit there so apologies if it's uh, a little bit in the corner hopefully you can still see so I made sort of an eye shape there for the flamingo's body um, and I just sort of elongated the top part of what would be the, the kind of eyelash if you were painting an eye um, to, to make the flamingo's tail. Um, I then filled all that in. So this is my sort of underpainting of the flamingo. This is white with a tiny touch of red and by doing this super light this gives me an undercoat sort of a primer for the main colours of the flamingo. Um, once this is dry, um, so I did give it another quick blast of the hairdryer, I then started adding some um, deeper reds. So um, unfortunately we had a power out and uh, my camera stopped recording so I'm going to kind of try and explain what the next stages are here. So um, after I uh, had done my underpainting I added uh, a slightly darker pink uh, which was still white and uh, red. I then added a um, black dot for the eye, um, I elongated the beak, so I kind of did two triangles, kind of a first triangle and then a, a one sort of coming down a little bit more and then I painted that in white and I put a little bit of black on it for the, um, for the beak. Um, here I'm adding lots of layers of pinks just to build that up and then some highlights and some very pale pinks and whites on the top. I always try and include all of the colours in the painting, sort of incorporate everything. So I am putting some pink reflected in the water and I'm actually putting some green in the underbelly to create some shadows for the flamingo. Two 
simple black lines for the legs, a few highlights, um, especially in the top right hand corner where the light source is and that's kind of it really. Very simple, quick flamingo. I hope you enjoyed this today. Um, please do subscribe and click the like button, share with anybody you like and uh, look out for my live Zoom classes every day at 2pm um, or Wednesdays at 8pm. Thanks for watching.